arriving at Ilios. Welcome everyone. We've got today our final day of the first round of 2018 Chill Open and we've got a very big match for you this afternoon. We've got My Chemical Thromance taking on Ducks Eating Greens really fast and the winner of this match will be going into the playoffs to play against Goat C9s. Loser will go home. So it's all on the line for both teams here. With me on commentary today, we've got commoners and we've got FTL. How are you doing today? I just woke up, but I have water, so. Good. It's important to stay hydrated. I have been awake for multiple hours, but I also have water. I'm glad to hear it. All Neither right. one of us are going to die from uh, exposure. All right, so we've got today My Chemical Throwants and the Ducks Eating Greens. What do you guys think of these two teams and this matchup in particular? So I, I think that My Chemical Throwants is going to have a slight advantage for this matchup. Um, I, I don't want to be too mean to two questions, but he is outmatched his main tank against Gimbo. Um, and that can have some very big consequences for their his damage line, like Barty and Poplio. Uh, he needs to give them space to work. Otherwise, they're just constantly going to be pushed back, which is extremely bad on King of the Hill maps. Um, but if, if he is able to perform and they're able to give him enough of that wiggle room um, to keep that line held, uh, then he's going to he's going to do fine. I'm uh, I'm interested to see uh, if they have any Farah battles here. Uh, you know, Hyphenated plays Farah quite a bit, and uh, Shikami and Monica have teamed up on the pharmacy on my chemical throwmance. So uh, I'm looking forward to some Farah duels, uh, and you know maybe that uh, will be affecting the uh, the tank battle. On, on, in either direction, because like Commoner said, there is that uh, imbalance for the main tank. And it's going to be interesting there because uh, Ducks definitely have the stronger hit scan players with Barty or possibly Poplio. And they might have the advantage if the Faras do come out just to be able to shoot them out of the air. You usually We're... see hard disk on that junk rat and don't know how well he's going to be able to do in the anti fara department if he's on that. Yeah, I, I think that My Chemical Thermits has an advantage in short and brutal fights. And I want to say that Monocro was uh, talking yesterday while he was in commentary about how, you know, some teams just need those those short, sudden fights where either everyone kills the other team at once or everyone dies at once so they can get the next fight in. 
And I think that's where My Chemical Thermance has the, the biggest advantages when they can just go out there and have a fight in under 20 seconds where it's the a conclusive battle. Um, I think if they don't take advantage of, of that advantage they have, then they'll, uh, they may see it grind out pretty hard. Right, we're going to see what happens. We've got Lijiang Tower for the first map of the day. And so there's a lot of very different uh, maps on this. We've got Control Center, very much Reinhardt, close quarters type of map. But the other two can be played a lot more wide open. So we'll see what these teams are going to go with. But it looks like both teams are ready. So don't need to further delay. We're going to go right ahead into Lijiang Tower. Now Let's arriving see. at Lijiang Where are we going to go to first? Looks like it is going to be the Night Market map. So this one in particular. We are going to see Barty right away locking in that Widowmaker. There's a really long sight line on this main entrance to the point. Yeah, with with Widowmaker on this map, um, she kind of has to stick around to the, the edges of the courtyard. And if My Chemical Thromance plays on point, um, it can make it very difficult for Widowmaker to do her job on this map. So we'll we'll see how how long they can force them to linger in the courtyard, because there's only two windows, two very limited sight lines that Widowmaker can fire on into the point. Right. If uh, if ducks can can take the point in the initial fight and then hold at the choke, so they have the long sight lines and they're not getting bottled up with that that close range you know fighting and damage you were talking about. I think that's going to be their path to victory here. Looks Five, like my four, chemical throw is going to be running the Genji Junkrat dive comp. Round one, They're able to capture, get in legit. and pressure uh, two questions back with a really quick attack. That might let them get on this point first. See both teams moving in. My chemical throw is looking to take that point position already. And the the. Uh... The ducks are running Anna, which is very weak to dive like this, so... First off dives in, but gets slept and gets DMX. So now hyphenated, kind of uncontested here, just sending rockets in on the flank. No one on the point, though. And this could still go either way. Hyphenated in trouble being chased by D.Va. Yeah, Vasilia got taken out, so no feeling for that Farah. Very well. And my chemical throne lance will get on the point first. And I'm not pushing off the off. point here to try and hold choke. They're swapping off the Ana immediately onto the Brigitte. Looking to counter that dive comp with those stuns. See how that works because they're going just to basically the solo mercy as the healer. And Mycelia will go down, but Hyphenated gets two kills here and has the barrage if he wants to use it. All the kills coming in for both supports down, but the Ducks will get the kills and be able to stand on the point here and flip it. 36% for my romance. Kristoff gets a pretty brutal stagger right here. They're going to have to wait another 10 seconds to even be able to think about pushing. So. Alright, so. But. We do have three ultimates online for my chemical throwmance. Both teams do not seem to be interested in trying to hold more to show they're holding on point. Gimbo diving in aggressively and the Dragon Blade from Shikami gets two, gets grabbed. Barrage from Hyphenator doesn't get any kills though because of the sound barrier from Monocro. And chemical throwmance looking to flip it right back. Hyphenated was just out of position for that Graviton Surge. Um, if he was lingering more in the windows, just kind of lurking and waiting instead of trying to chip extra damage, uh, he probably could have done quite a bit of damage to everybody crammed in that corner. It's only a game. Sound barrier used. 
Rally gonna come out from Scare. HD looking for that Rip Tire. Oh, <laughs> gets bashed. And now they will have the Valkyrie if they want to initiate right here. They're all armored up. I can aid the armor, but yeah, they, they should have the advantage. Oh, two questions with a charge onto the self destruct. Oh, Mycelia still gets caught. The Valkyrie not used, so that's still available. The kills are coming in, but it's a brawl on the point. Hyphenated really doesn't have any contest. Two, two questions just completely went on a rager. He spent the last 15 seconds swinging his hammer, and I love it. That's how you do it. That's Reinhardt. We are running in here. Jimbo just trying to stall it out. But rockets will lead to his demise. Barty pops the Infrasight, but the My Chemical Throwants are retreating. And we still got armor on the Palpio, of course, the Cesaria shields. Gotta damage those first to get rid of that armor. Use that 500 HP. Yeah, Zarya, when she gets armored up like that, becomes an actual tank character, and it is a total pain in the butt tank. Tommy, on the point here. Oh, but the barrage out of hyphenated. Shikami trying to flip the point just by himself, but I don't think that's going to work out. I'm going to do only one more opportunity here. Valkyrie was used by Mycelia, but no support alts for my chemical pro ants either. They just used both of them. But they are going to have Blade, Primal Rage, and most likely Rip Tire for this next fight. So that is a pretty deadly combo. Here comes the Dragon Blade. Gets the skill on the scare, both supports are gone. Oh, huge shatter from two questions. Gets three down. It's too, is it too late? Hoplio gets two kills. Hyphenated still shooting those rockets. Can you get anything? Looks like he's the last one alive. And see HD popping the rip tire. There are a few seconds left here for them to scramble onto this point. I see it goes for the res. I'm in here. Doesn't get it. My ultimate is Scare with the rally, just trying to stay alive on this point. Beating up Ristoff, but all the halts coming online. What happens? Ristoff drops the self-destruct. Two questions, trying to swing away. Sound barrier comes out from Monaco just to seal the deal here. Hyphenated's almost got old. On Terra, coming in through the window maybe. Yeah, but only Barty left on the point will be taken down. My chemical throw mats, a big, really back and forth map. But they do secure the point. Go up 1 0 on Lejeune. So I, I do think that Barty should have switched to Tracer um, once he recognized that they were running dive. Because e even though Widow is is a great pick for him because he can just hit people in the head all day, uh, Widowmaker is just so vulnerable to a, a dive when it comes roaring out the gate and Five, ready to kill the, the four, easy soft three, characters like Anna and Widowmaker. One, um, round. E even with Brigida, which who is the quintessential anti-dive character, uh, you're you're not going to be able to survive and be super effective as as Widowmaker when you compare possible performance to. All right, so we're here on the control center. Both teams running the Reinhardt. Hyphenated actually gets the first pick, but Jimbo wins the Rhine battle. Two questions goes down. Hopefully, gets the charge. They're being really pushed back, but again, they do Barty have capping in the back. Barty keeping that point alive. Ooh, a fire strike from Jimbo, though. Poplio's still trying to get a push. Two questions, his back. The res. So we've got a pretty even fight here. Hip blast with the coalescence. Python has the broad kill. already. My chemical chromance will. Oh happen. no! Oh, a big pulse bomb takes out Gimbo. Now hyphenated, really uncontested in the sky here, but there's no one else. It's just the pharmacy and the tracer. That, no that pulse bomb. Questions. Right here. That pulse bomb was stuck to Shikami and he ran into Gimbo. Oh, Riptire and Soundberry use. Here now, using the coalescence. 
the grab and the barrage to clean it up. So big ult combo gets the team wipe. Ducks eating greens will come back and flip it, but they use it does almost pop everything. res there too. And definitely they will need the next fight. Ducks eating greens right now do not have the. Uh... Party oh, swaps right. They, they do have an ult advantage. Party, Party is swapped off the tracer to the widow. Getting those shots in, no kills though. Gets a headshot onto Gimbo, dunking him down. The rally was used bro, from Shikami. HD gets in on Barty. Coalescence used by Hip Blast, and it should be the flip back in favor of my chemical romance. About 40% gonna be on the board for Ducks eating greens. Oh, back in once again. That was a pretty typical display of death ball. Everybody's staring up at the fire and flailing wildly. Ah. Oh, big grab out of wrist stop. Two questions counter, with a counter, counter shatter. Counter. It actually gets huge value. Forced out the sound barrier, so you know what? You'll probably take that if your ducks eating greens. Get the sound barrier out. No more defensive ultimate, and now they have the graviton and the barrage. Yeah, that was a very good ult trade with how quickly uh, Reinhardt charges ult and death ball comps. Uh, that was perfectly good. Hardy's almost the fire here. Hardy's used the, uh, the infrasight so they know exactly where they are. Just looking for that grab. There it is. Oh, There's the rocket barrage. And only gets one. The shield was able to stay alive. Fire. This actually is going to be the fight for my chemical throwman. All the ultimates used on both sides. Now it's going to be a scramble for Ducks to get back to the point. Party onto the Reaper. Is anyone going to be able to touch? Doesn't look like it. My Chemical Throwance with the map on Li Jiang Tower. But so back and forth, just he was trading that point back so many times. Here, hyphenated with their rocket barrage into the grab. Easy as you like. Yeah, I really like their uh, their combos. Uh, I think the last grab barrage was just a, in a little bit of a, a tight spot to really get full value out of it. It was difficult. It was not. I think it was a little bit delayed getting in, and the Rhine Shield was able to stay up long enough to keep everyone alive through it. We got maybe one more kill. That could have gone the other way. I'm, I'm trying to think about the, the weak point on uh, Ducks Eating Greens. I think TQ is doing fine, but it felt like their damage was either unfocused or anemic, and I, I can't decide which. But uh, Hyphenated was definitely pulling his weight. Barty was getting a lot of damage, but it, it, it didn't seem like they were they were focusing their targets. So instead it was just being the support ults on the other team. And that's why we, we saw um, Coalescence coming out so often was that there was always somebody wounded or multiple people wounded to feed that ult. And uh, yeah, I, I think they need to call targets even though they're not running dive, calling targets is still very vital. Yeah, so to, important to... for both DPS to hit the same target and secure those kills. Looks like the pick from Ducks Eating Greens is going to be King's Row. I'm shocked. Are you guys shocked? <laughs> I've not seen King's Row played in years, so this uh, this comes as a shock to me anyway. All right, so. Chemical Throwman's electing to attack first, so the teams will be swapping sides. I I wish that Ducks had gone for a more open map, because I think this plays into 
Duck's advantage with uh, with having uh, HDD. You know, so good at jump rat, great tires, and then you know with with Barty uh, being better longer sightlines on Widow with hyphenated in the air on Pharaoh. With, with how um, with how direct this map is, it's a very tank reliant map. Um, there, there's not a there's not a lot of room for flanking. The f the flanking routes are short, and they don't really take you too far into a flank. Um, so they do have Barty though, for those headshots on Widow, and Widow can be pretty dominant on this map. And if My Chemical Thermance plays their strengths, they may not have a counter to uh, Barty's Widowmaker play. It 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 really hinges on on Barty. Consistently getting headshots and my chemical thromance not running uh, defensive dive, so we'll see. We will see. All right, looks like both teams are ready, set to go. We're gonna head right into King's Row. Duck seeding greens need this map to stay alive. Now entering. Otherwise, King's my Row. chemical thromance will be moving on to the playoffs. And Throatman's has gone uh, to pick attack here. Um, to me, that's interesting. I, I prefer defense to know how far you have to push it on your following attack. Um, but maybe they're just feeling feeling good after the win on, on King of the Hill to uh, just start strong with, with a strong uh, offensive push here. Attack is certainly a viable option as well. If you really think you're going to get a good attack and get the other teams back against the wall, Make them a little bit nervous about what they have to do. And we are seeing defensive dive come out on My Chemical Thromance side. And on the offensive side, we are not seeing Barty playing Widowmaker. Instead, he is opting to play uh, okay. Zarya. So. so this is interesting. The defensive dive. Or no, actually, this that's an offensive dive. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I just woke up. <laughs> okay. It's all right. I forgive you. So, it's like Scare going to be running the Reinhardt. Barty onto the Zarya. And probably I'm at Hanzo, so. The Hanzo Zarya combo. Uh, two questions flipping from the Rhin to the Moira. I've made it, of course, staying on that Farah as always. And on the attack, we're going to see once again. The dive comp with the Genji Junkrat, but with the Moira. Five, no four, Zen, just the uh, Lucio two, Moira. One. A lot so of speed here. They, they don't have a lot of super soft targets to hit, but if they can focus down targets, uh, particularly Hanzo, they can do well with this. Let's see where Gimbo is going to go right in the back looking for Mycelia. And Scare just swinging the hammer. Here, looking for the charge. Not gonna find anything. Getting that ult charge up really fast. And it looks like Ducks Eating Greens should be able to hold this. They're getting all the kills. Only one kill on the side of my chemical throwman. Make it out. So to, to the credit of Hanzo's uh, survivability, we did see Gimbo Ristoff and Shikami all pile in on him at once. And he just did the, the Hanzo maneuver where you climb up a wall and start jumping wildly. And it, it let him live long enough that uh, the, the dive did not get the results that they needed. So you see here, they're trying to move in, but the rockets from Hyphenated chipping them down and probably were able to get the headshot on HDD. And this push is gonna go right back to spawn already. Well, with, with, uh, yeah, the just that with the fire. The problem with this dive is they have nothing to stop Hyphenated from just chipping them down at this long range. And when, when there's a, uh, a fire in play, you cannot linger and wait for everyone at a corner. You just have to go fast, spend the limited seconds. And probably will get another kill there. Rocket Barrage out of Hyphenated, and that gets two kills. It's gonna have to be another reset right there. Really strong defense here so far. 
And I like that they didn't overcommit all, say, you know, saw hyphenated with a barrage, gets two, and they didn't just start wildly clicking Q to, to wipe the rest of the team. Look at this, four ults online for ducks eating greens, and only the rip tire gonna be available and the sound barrier. I come for romance. They're gonna need probably to do an eco push here, get some of these ults out before they can really take the point. They're gonna sound barrier at this fight. Dragon Strike comes out. Oh, HDD gets a big rip tire, gets the whole force of force. Hammer down, out of scare. Dragon Blade from Shikami. See, Hyphenated is still pretty much uncontested. He's gonna be able to get any more kills. Gets Shikami. Hoplio is still on the flank here. Gets wrist off. And are the Ducks gonna be able to get back on the point here? Progress is going up. They've got the second pick. It is some great DPS stall though. I think they're gonna end up pull back here. And the question is keeping the point contested. The grab comes out just to make sure. Shikami gets the deflect, but gets smacked up against the wall from Scare. So again, the hold. 72% though is taken, and that could be important. So they have Even Eva they Bomb have. here for their next push. Okay. And, and my the, chemical throwman's just okay. threw everything in the kitchen sink in for that hold. Here comes the bomb. Scare gets the shield up. And again, the kills immediately come through. Just a really solid defense here out of Ducks Eating Greens. We're just not letting this dive get any kills for the most part. I held Coalescence that whole fight. Um, so they've got that one left for a final push here, but they're going to have to pull some magic off, do some popping off. Shikami does switch over to the Hondo. He's going to have to get hyphenated out of the sky. Dragon oh, it comes out. It was eaten. It was eaten through the statue. And he was yeah, from the back. Go down. Papio gets Shikami. And Barty getting the kills. This looks like the Valkyrie comes out. This should be cleanup for Ducks. Just wrist off alive. And that's going to be it. 76% is all it's going to be. Okay. Uh, this dive comp out of my chemical chromance. Well, one of the issues they were facing is that they kept Poplio and Hyphenated away from the main clump. Um, so that means that their primary target in going after uh, Mycelion Mercy is she has so many options to escape when you're when you're Mercy and you have that uh, <laughs> those characters across the map and up in the air. Uh, Mycelia, he, he could just go anywhere and they cannot kill a Mercy that says, bye, I'm leaving and I'm going across town. So then they, you know, they're left with two tanks and a Moira. A Moira can fade away and the tanks can live and die forever. So... And one thing that might have helped them, uh, they never really saved up all their alts to use at once. They kind of threw them out when they were online. They were able to get some percentage, but never able to really clear out the point fully. So only 76% taken. And and a lot of that was was hyphenated, just being able to survive in the air because Dive didn't have the, the tools to to pick off Farah after she gets her altitude. Um, when when you're Dive and you have a Farah in the enemy team, you need like four or five people alive just to to plank at her and eventually chip her down. <laughs> but they they didn't have that. Looks like they're going to be running the same thing on defense here, but Gimbo will swap to the Arisa. Looking to have a little more stability here. On the attack, we've got two questions on the Zen. First time in a while. And they are holding high ground uh, like they did previously in this tournament. Barty is going to play the Widowmaker here. Poplio will be flexing back onto the Zarya. Let's see what... Barty can do. Barty already flanking around, looking for Monaco. Doesn't get the kill. Shikami will go down. I don't know if they're going to be able to res that either. Monaco running for his life. Five on six here. Favor of ducks. HDD goes down. Now, 
my chemical throwings really needs to find some kind of kill, but this it is, is going to be good. not looking good for them. Everyone going down. That should be just about it. The team kill. Really impressive King's Row here out of Ducks Eating Greens. Played that perfectly. Yeah, they made me look uh, very wrong there for doubting their map choice. DPS was able to get in on the flank. Uh, really pushed back the supports and kind of split the defense there. See Scare laying in these hammers. That's why you do not want Reinhardt in the cookie jar. Once he gets back there into your back line, he can just spin around wildly and all of your supports are being chunked down very quickly. And we see from the cards here at the end of the game, hyphenated, I don't know. Did he, was he ever killed in the whole map? Maybe once? Uh, may, yeah, maybe once. And of course, when Reinhardt's, you know, doing that in your back line, you lose that fight, and then you lose the next fight because of the ult charge he has from it. And I think we saw this uh, in the previous matches from My Chemical Thrones. They have that vulnerability against that Farah. Doesn't look like they've found the answer quite yet. I, I think their their answer has been we're going to win the ground fight and then we're going to stand on the ground and chuck grenades and shurikens at Farah while she lingers in the air, and that worked for Li Zhang Tower. But on King's Row, with uh, with how close the defender spawn is, and you you can't wait for that. You can't spend that time doing that. Well, I have good news for everybody. <laughs> My Chemical Throwance has the map pick. It's your boy. Step into the dojo. We're going to Hanamura. I'm going to hit yeah. that Zen Garden like a boss. Now all we need to see is some Torbjorn. I have spammed it into chat to encourage somebody to pick him. <laughs> I don't care who it is or how poorly they play them. Hey, can, you didn't say what team. Can we change the rules for multiple characters so we can have just six Torb versus six Torb? I mean, I don't think there's a rule against it, technically. Okay, so looks like Ducks are electing to attack first. So once again, the teams are going to swap. I want to see them go three tanks, three supports, and just bulldoze... Uh to the point from the word go. Got my, That's my dream right here. Got my chemical throw mats in the blue. Ducks eating greens on the red. All right, so. With, with how flexible my chemical throw mats is, I would not be surprised to see a slambulance come out or the, the triple support, triple tank. Um, they, they have a lot of options and monochro like not so obscure strategies, but obscure in the non-professional scene, <laughs> and we may see those happen. Will be interesting to see what these two teams go with. Uh, definitely a lot of different ways you can approach this map. Also, like... Ristoff told me before the game uh, that he might be playing Zarya, and then he hasn't yet, so I'm very disappointed internally where my heart is. Mm. Are you leaking? the secret strats here. We'll find out. Looks like both teams are ready. We're stepping into the dojo. And I, for one, am very happy about it. All right, so once again, ducks eating greens are going to come out on the attack first. And so they're showing here Poplio on the Roadhog, Scare on the Reinhardt, and Barty on the Widow. What do you think they're looking for with this team comp? <sighs> Widowmaker is going to be dancing on the door and shooting people in the courtyard and on the point. Um, my Chemical Thromance is either going to have to play at the the corner around the building 
or they're going to have to play on point and just hunker down and not get shot in the head. Um, on this map, a good Widowmaker basically denies you any area to move. And that could be critical to getting hyphenated in position to just spam rockets into wherever people are hiding. Yeah, they're saying we're not going to worry about the one main door with our vertical characters. Um, I'm hoping Thromancia Ristoff on the D.Va uh, contests the, the high ground to, to block the Pharah, block the Widow. Let a hard disk, you know, focus on the door and Shikami to clean up with uh, the overpowered, you know, Hanzo arrows these days. Right, so let's see, Gimbo not looking like he's going to hold the front choke. Holding back here into the courtyard, so... It's going to be difficult for Puffly to find a hook here, playing so far back. I made it looking for those rockets, but Shikami the only one up there. Shikami is an extreme threat of getting shot in the head here. I don't think they know there's a Widowmaker yet. Scarce Barrier does go down, and they're going to have to wait for that to charge up before they can engage here. For a line, but hasn't moved up to the, the choke yet. Here. Still, yeah, that barrier is just getting chunked down here. Poplio with the hook and the pick. Nice Are pick they going to move in up. on it? They're trying to cover Monaco for the res. Are you able to get it and get away? Really aggressive res, but he does. And the cap. Already gets the kill on the hip flask, but. And know, it looks like Thurman does have a chance to recover here, but that is quickly fading. Yeah, Hyphenated getting those long-range rockets in. Now actually getting onto the point. Monocro gets hooked, but a nice matrix from Ristop keeps him alive, but the whole hog just too much damage. Oh, and the self-destruct. probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, self-destruct is used, but not able to get back into the mech. I'm gonna have a point being taken here. I have a good bit of ults here for pushing point B. Four ults coming online and no diva bomb now to counter that. Over six minutes here to take point B, but there will be a rip tire on the defense. Looks like a Valkyrie as well, so it's definitely doable. Almost everyone's ults are going to be online for this next fight. And they're going main door, not taking top right, so they're going to have... Uh, nice uh, damage to the fire strike there. Here comes the Riptire. What's HTD going to be able to get? Let's get two questions. That's a pretty big pick. And those dragons isolated the supports for the, the start of this fight. And we're seeing the results of that. Coalescence now comes out from Hip Flash. Barty gets a nice kill on the Monaco, but... Pushback is real. Ducks will have to retreat. Barty, the only one left, is going to be able to get away. Look at this. There were no. The ducks didn't use any of their alts. They have four online. Seems looks like as soon as two questions went down, they decided not to use anything. They got the alts out of the defense there. Now they have a big advantage. Scare them to get on the flank here. Should get it for this fight. Oh, Scare gets knocked up onto the top ledge there. There, without the main tank on the point, Mycelia pops the Valkyrie. Oh, big shredder! No, doesn't get anything. Wrist up with the Diva bomb. Those two support. supports. So a bit of a messy fight there, but my chemical Thromance does manage to hold it there. I it's think they're now isolated. Ducks don't want to go up top against the and to against out. the Junkrat. But now that's two pushes here that they've lost coming in through main. I wonder if they're going to try top for this they, next push. They need to get Barty on that balcony and everybody else onto the point. But Barty... Oh, Barty's going to flop off. Okay. I thought that was a missed grapple or something. <laughs> well, maybe it's, not. Is maybe Barty maybe, maybe it was. Oh. Well... Barty's was sticking on the Widow. It was a sacrifice for good luck. Hey, the gods, <laughs> you never know what they're going to want. The is up. 
Or he's not going to be able to find anything from this angle. Kami does go down. Well placed. They, they did finally punish Takami for his blinker Hanzo, but here comes the tire. Two kills from the rip tire gets the farmer seed. No, nothing. Gonna be able to get no progress here. They were close to that. Trying to get all charge. Buffalo will have the graviton though for this next push. And only the coalescence online for the defense. Hardy narrowly escapes again. I know though, there's the coalescence really isn't gonna be enough if they get that grav barrage combo. They get everyone. But they do have the Viva Matrix that might help. I, that could save it, and uh, I, I'm gonna say Barty needs to get inside and be more aggressive here. Um, there, I don't think he's getting enough pressure with, with Widow and his team suffering for it right now. I'll play on Scare moving on to the point. There's the grab through the ceiling. There's the barrage. Gets three. Gets the mech as well. And they should be able to start getting some progress here. The cow is keeping the point alive. Pesky ninja. There he goes, but the respawn's starting to come in. They're gonna have a chance to stall here. Monaco speed boosting onto the point. They actually do get two questions, but... Tommy almost has ult on Genji. The two tanks are alive. Gonna depend on Barty getting these kills onto the Genji. He does get it. Self-destruct, though. Barty gets that pig. Gets Mycelia. Oh, Hypenator goes down as well. This is messy. So four on three though for the attack. Friends down point to uh, lengthen the respawn timer on the defense. HP goes down, slam, only gets Shikami. Oh, my god, it goes It's boop. Here comes the blade from Shikami. Looking for Poplio. Not able to get him, but it looks like they will finally push the ducks back off the point. 84% taken, but that's gonna be all. And both teams using everything. HDD will have the rip tire. Coalescence online as well for a hip flask. So probably two attacks here for the ducks. And have to probably use this attack to get their ultimates online and then have one last shot in overtime. It, it's not look, looking like they're going to have a second attack. They gotta um, move they, pretty fast. They may have a trickle for the second one, but... And they are just not opting to attack up the stairs on the, the right side attack. I don't know, they don't want to go up there with that jump grab. Here comes the Riptire. Oh! Mycelia, no! Yes, Barty and Mycelia. Wow, that was amazing. They're gonna have to reset right now. Are they gonna do it? No, they're they're opting to take a fight. Still trying to take the fight. I mean, it needs to pop off. Needs to get the reset. Okay, they will. Only 20 seconds remaining. Two questions. Slips, swaps to the Zen. Barty onto the Tracer. Uh, I would have gone Lucio here instead of Zen to speed him in. Well, they're, they're gonna have to grab if they can make it. If anyone can touch, they'll have Barty grab should be able to touch on that Tracer. So for how long? Only needs to keep it alive. That's a recall. Scare line slam. Up. Shatter. Uh -oh. Shatter from both teams. Scare. There's the Graviton. Where's the damage? Here we go. Rocket Barrage. All the kills coming in. Monocro, the last one alive. Field fall. And that's going to be it. Team wipe. So there you go. Marty that was a beautiful final push. Just get that point contested long enough to start overtime. They finally get that alt combo they needed. Ducks eating greens are able to finish the map. Two points taken. My chemical throwmance needs to finish the map or they are going home. Yeah, scare charge into that back corner and then uh when they, the, they came off of high ground there to contest, they basically had Scare flank them automatically when they are coming down. Perfect shatter into Grav, and then Hyphenated finished it off with a Barrage. I gotta say, they played that really, really well. They didn't panic. They didn't try to rush onto the point as fast as possible. They just had the Tracer touch it.
and everyone else got where they needed to be, and they just executed. And th Thromance for those those two successful pushes off of the barrage grab were playing way too close together, knowing that there was a, going to be a a uh, barrage grab coming in. Um, usually in those moments, you want your your sacrificial tank to just <laughs> kind of <laughs> opt into being being blown up horribly, but. Uh, they, they show really good team cohesiveness, which is good for death balls, but you don't want to death ball into a, a, a barrage grab. Like that's, that's a critical part of death balling, is that you need to know when you, when you have to spread out. Yeah, the barrage grabs so much damage, there's really nothing in the game that can stop it. Not even a transcendence. You, you have to have a... Uh... You have to have a diva to eat all the rockets. And a... Uh... And a grenade and uh, Zenyatta can keep a team alive in that, but nobody plays Anna, so. All right, so on the defense here, Ducks running the Orisa Roadhog, the Widow and the Farah once again. Two pushes on the Zen, so linking a little extra damage in the back. Kimbo diving right on the point, looking for Barty. Barty's got to get out of there. Two questions going to go down. Barty does get the kill on the Gimbo. Five on five. GG will fall as well. Now without that damage, it's gonna be difficult. I'm moved in the back. So Ducks Eating Greens will eventually push the back. Are they gonna let mech here? He's getting some damage in. Well, Ristoff actually takes out Poplio from the Roadhog. And we'll get the remech, so they're still trying to fight this. Yeah, we're, we're seeing spot oh, no. advantage at work. We're... Thromance can just flood in and pick off these stragglers. Yeah, HPD coming in the back here with the Junkrat. He will fall though, they might need to back off. Hopping off on Zen behind that Arisa shield. Uh, you see they had the spawn advantage, but they really got a little bit too aggressive there. If they waited another couple seconds, they could have had a 3 on 2 or 4 on 2 instead of trying for the 2 on 2. It looks like a... Uh... The situation is stabilized, so we're going to see another full team fight. Let's mm -hmm. see if they dive point again here. Coalescence about to be up for hip blast. Really getting close to that valve. There's the dragon blade, but Shikami's really low on health. He's gonna be able to find. Takes Top Leo out of the mech. HGD getting the damage as well. Rocket barrage oh, comes out. It was a bongo barrage too, but it was not enough. Nycelia is stuck in the trap, and this is going to be the cap. Shikami went into that Dragon Blade, had about 30 health, but was able to survive long enough to get that damage onto Popleo's mech. I, I think he got plinked with a headshot from Barty, but Barty hasn't been fully charging his shots, so he he barely survived and managed to cut Barty down and before he Two questions are swapped here too for Geek for the uh, point B defense off of Zen. Interesting. HDD going on the point, but Barty gets a shot in. He needs to be covered by Poplio. Now the Valkyrie comes out from Mycelia. Poplio takes out the tire, but two questions will fall. And it's a six on five. Now it's five on five. It's not pulling Barty. Gimbo hits the Primal Rage. They're going to have a lot of sustain here. Scare going to go down and self-destruct. Gets hyphenated, gets the DMAC, but Poplio not able to get anything with that getting there. There's a coalescence out. Here comes another blade from Shikami. Looking for anything. Icelia is staying alive against the blade. Icelia stays alive long enough. How long is he going to be able to run this? Poplio gets the DMAC. Shikami gets the kill. But Hyphenated gets two kills as well. Got the barrage. He's gonna be able to find. He's down to 58 health. Gets the mech. So this is winnable. Barty's on the mate is stall. It looks like my chemical thermos are gonna retreat here. They get nothing. Are they gonna get Tom if he moves out? Or they're not. I think it was good for Hyphenated to hold his barrage there with uh, with the Genji in play. I think he had deep like up. That would not have ended well, so I'm glad he held that for next fight. I understand. That was really close. My chemical thrones use everything. If they get no progress, party on that May. Preventing that. Here comes the sound barrier to come in. 
Jimbo getting a lot of damage here on that Winston. Supercharger is going to go down. Oh, Ristop goes down. There's the Rocket Barrage from Hyphenated just to make sure. And this is going to be a hold once again. So we'll see the Primal Rage from Gimbo going to be up very soon. Shikami going to have the Blade HD with the Rip Tire. On the other side, it's only going to be Poplio's self destruct. So there's a, there's a definite uh, ult advantage going on for our, uh, our people throw mats, and it's. Yeah, Mycelia might have the Valkyrie, but these DPS ults are not really going to care about that. So much high damage. It's going to depend on if Shikami or HDD can make the big play here. The ducks are very, very spread out which means that they will be uh, very resistant to those ults coming out. the Riptire. Oh, but it gets taken out. Kills, though, coming in. Shikami with the blade. Party, though, kills Gimbo, and the res on the two questions. Is that going to be enough here? Icelia's belt is up. Party's still laying in these Widow shots. I have anything coming back in. Kills though uh, are coming in. I feel like doing a great job keeping Arissa up on point there. There comes the self destruct from Ristoff, but too high, and everyone's gonna be able to hide behind the shield. Once again, the hold out of ducks eating greens. Really well played there. Bend but don't break. And now we're seeing that uh, that old advantage situation switched on its head. Mm -hmm. Shikami back up to 56% HDD, halfway to another Rift Tire. So those could get built up pretty fast. This will have to be a dry push for them. They do have enough time to do a pretty long dry push. And now with uh, the Reinhardt in play, Marty can just sit here on this high ground. Really, no one can test him. Looking for Monocro. Not able to find him. Oh, does get the snipe on Shikami and Gimbo. Does pop the lessons. Big shots out of Barty here. Looking for HDD. HDD is going to go down, so that's going to be the retreat. My Kempfield Throne is now getting close to one minute left, and they don't have any progress. And it looks like Pop Leo and Barty missed armor on that. Uh, all from two questions. But they should be looking pretty solid here for the next five. We will see the Rocket Barrage online for Hyphenated and the Infrasight from Barty. But again, we got the Dragon Blade, we got the Rip Tire from my Chemical Thromance. See, HUD kind of popped that. Here comes the Dragon Blade. Shikami going after the Widow. Able to grapple away, though. HUD does get the kill on the two questions. And now two kills. Poplio going down. Marty gets the snipe. Two snipes, actually. A good matrix out of Ristoff. And Marty putting in work, but they don't have anyone to do that. Now, finally, there's the first pick. So this is, could be the last fight. There's less than 30 seconds left. Gimbo, huge shatter. Gets two on the floor. Two questions alive, thanks to the shield, but will fall. Now, HDD back on the tracer. Well, Suddenly. This could be the end here. This percentage is going up. Poplio going to be demexed. Going to fall. Mycelia hiding behind this lantern here. They can find him. Here is the question. There we go. Two questions back on the Brigitte, but... Ooh, Barty does get the kill on HDD, but that's not going to be enough. Get off the truck on, and we've got... a second round here. Are we going to draw Namura? There is just enough time to draw for both teams. <laughs> this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I'm so happy. 2CP! 2CP! This map is the best map I've ever seen. I like that the, the Blizzard devs actually admitted to putting in a lot of work on the details of this map, knowing it would be fought over multiple times in every fight. <laughs> But I will see That's a done. very good point.
All right, so one minute on the clock for both teams. I will protect the innocent. And if we go to a draw, we are going to have to have a tiebreaker map. And that's going to determine which team Attackers will move on to the playoffs, defense. but they each have a chance here to win it right now. We're going to see ducks on the attack first here. They're going with, it's only go with the tracer. Farah, Ryan Zarya, Zen Mercy. Not gonna opt for the Widowmaker, and probably a wise choice because Gimbo looking to play that Reinhardt and keep everyone protected. We got once again that Genji Junkrat defense out of Shikami and HDD. Might only be one opportunity to attack, depending on how quickly they can get in there. No Lucio. Barty found loose. the trap. Barty did find the trap. So let's see. They're probably gonna back up here and wait for Barty. Exactly what's gonna happen. So only gonna be one opportunity. Hopefully, trying to get that charge, but not able to find much damage because of the shield. So 20 seconds me, uh, going against Typhonated and uh, Mycelae up there. Comes the charge. HD gets the kill on the TQ. TQ. And the kills coming through for the defense, but Scare gets the DMAC, gets Hip Blast. See, Mycelae trying to charge that Falch. Scare gets a big pin on the Gimbo, takes Gimbo out, but Party steps in the trap. Looking for the res. It's gonna find the res. Is it too late though? All of my chemical throwing alive here on the point. Big barrage out of hyphenated. But only gonna get one. Monaco will fall. Here comes the rip tire out of HDD just to make sure. Coming out of spawn. Big power slam for Jimbo. The pulse bomb. Not gonna get the kill. Just pop Leo alive and not make it all right here. No progress made. It was a real brawl on the point there, but my chemical throwance does hold and they will have the opportunity here to win it all right here and go to playoffs. All they need is one tick on that point. I want to see Slambulance. We know Monaco loves that Lucio. I'm back in the fight. This was their math pick. And they are staying with the Orisa. Uh, my no, we've got some changes. Ryan, but Barty on the Reaper though. Yeah, Ducks with some changes here. Uh, going back to the Orisa Roadhog and the Reaper. Brigitte actually two questions. So this is the low sustain. But the Roadhog can keep himself alive. And the Reaper as well. My, my dream may be alive. Uh, we're seeing two tanks, Lucio and Brigida, coming out of uh, my control permit. This is a flight slambulance, but. Oh, this is very interesting. HDD on the Orisa, so two main tanks, three shield tanks here, five tanks actually, if you count Brigitte. Oh, this is the most beautiful. Yes, this is it. No healing slambulance. Did you say five tanks in the Lucio? This is basically what we've got. Let's see if it's gonna work. This is more like a fire truck laden with sandbags being blown through the front gate. Let's see what happens. Well, party on that Reaper, they might have been expecting this and they're bringing out all this anti-tank damage. Hyphenated already at 50% of the rocket barrage. So much damage. TQ will go oh, down. This corner! Party is getting so much damage. Popular are getting the kills and they're trying to push him off. But there we go. Ducks actually played that perfectly. You know, they expected this tank strategy. That's what the Reaper was there for. That's what the Roadhog was there for. So, and you got so one, one critical mistake out of my chemical throwman's there was that they ran Brigida instead of uh, Moira. And unfortunately, there's, there's no healing. In that situation, no. Let's see what it's in with the blade, with the Genji. Gimbo does get the kill. Rocket oh, Barrage oh, oh, and the Death Blossom gonna kill everyone. We're gonna have Draw Nomura. It was the greatest thing I've ever seen. I'm going to <laughs> tiebreaker. 
all the colors. Play of the game. Our our alternate cameraman charting. Oh my god, I hate you, McFreeze. Fuck this map. Hey. <laughs> I believe Monaco was the one who picked the map, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we have it, very big numbers on these cards. You know, it won't let me vote for anyone, block. but I'm voting for them all. You know, how could it really go either way? How could it go any other way? Both these teams playing so well. Both these teams have everything to play for. And now it's gonna come down to what Jeff decides to pick for the map. I hope it's another 2CP. We will see. Mood Hanamura, let's go, boys. I prefer Moonamura. What's it gonna be? It's Dorado. This is gonna be the final map of this first round. Every map that gets played, I think, is my favorite map uh, as it comes up. I like Dorado. So, um, I think that if they had a Moira for that last push, uh, My Chemical Thromance could have <laughs> could have taken it. But that that was one of those. Uh, b besides the the weirdness of having multiple main tanks, um, that that was one of those things where you lose coming out the gate of your spawn uh <laughs> there there are certain compositions that just don't work out well and i think that was one of those ones that, that's really just dead before it even hits the fight they saw some results cramming into that corner and uh taking out both the main tanks that were just <laughs> that was a vicious beating that, <laughs> that they received in that corner with the risa Rodog, but we, we could see that with the tanks having to dedicate their time to damage instead of mitigating damage, um, Barty and Hyphenated were just able to farm so much ult, and they're able to close out that first fight pretty easily. And by the time the second fight came around, we, we saw the Barrage Death Blossom and, and uh, Mini Graviton yeah. out of Orisa that just ended it within two seconds. That may have so. actually broken my death blossom barrage cherry i don't think i've seen them combo before <laughs> <laughs> well i think what we saw there poplio's played with monocro enough times to know monocro loves that the shock heavy troops tank composition, the heavy tank composition and they brought out the reaper they brought out the Farah, they brought out the roadhog just chunk them down chunk those tanks down the low healing they were able to get their ults up so fast. We saw the Death Blossom and the Rocket Barrage within one minute. Yeah, that, that's one of those situations you don't often see because teams will usually try to uh, pace out their ults and not give the other team ult advantage. But when you're zero seconds over time on mm -hmm. Hanamura first point going for a draw, <laughs> That's when everything in the kitchen sink comes out, and you are just you. You get to see the the really wacky old combos, uh, or it's just if you have Q, press it because there's no more time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're just waiting to see if the teams are ready to go. So much pressure, of course, on both teams right now. So much tension. So McFreeze, who uh, goes on attack and who goes on defense here since the map was chosen by Hefe? We're going to keep it the same order, so my chemical throwmans are going to attack first. Ducks eating greens on the defense. It's probably been pointed out before, but Ducks eating greens with all green player icons. Very uh, excellent. Oh, this is actually the opposite. How did that happen? Well, okay, so 
Ducks eating greens on the blue team. My chemical throwmats on the red team. I Just like my, both my, teams are ready. My initial instinct says that my chemical throwmats is going to have an advantage on this map because it is a uh, it it is one of the dive oriented maps. But with their inability to deal with hyphenated, this is also a Farah map, and Farah is very very strong all the way through to the third point where, where she gets a little bit weaker. But between hyphenated and mycelia on the pharmacy combo, um, my chemical throwmance has not been dealing with that. And even with the dive advantage, they have a very strong dive comp. I don't know if they're going to be able to deal with the, the constant chip damage that hyphenated has been able to put out. Because if dive comes in with half health, they're just going to all die in fetal. So... I are also going to have uh, Barty on that Widow. This is a good Widowmaker map. So, looks like both teams are ready. We're headed into Dorado for all the marbles here. Traveling to Dorado. Who is going to take this and get that final playoff spot to go against Goat C9s? I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> Steal yourself. This is the big time. The lights are on bright, Michael. Similar composition picks coming out. Shikami, though, on the Farah. Oh, that's interesting. Not seen Shikami on the Farah today. We will see um, the defense. Barty on that Widowmaker, of course. My chemical throwmats hyphenated on the Farah. Or see, that's duck seeding greens. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. <laughs> Barty on the Widow. Poplio on the Roadhog. And Scare filling that Reinhardt as two questions goes back to the Moira. And on the attack, we've got HD on the Junkrat as always. Shikami on the Farah. Gimmo looking to run this Orisa. So. Looks like what they're going to try to do is just push forward through the choke point and lay in that long range explosive damage. Just make it so that ducks cannot stop stand on the payload. Ducks debating between holding high ground or just holding under arch here. Looks like they're going to just play it safe, play at the choke point. I think that's exactly what my chemical throwman wants them to do. Party getting high up in the back on Widowmaker, saying, You will not dive me. So, coming. Trying to fire those rockets in. I think they will know pretty quickly that there is a Widow. Party so far back, it's not really a threat. I mean, we're, we're seeing that the, the ducks aren't even opting. Oh, to man. Take the initial poke. Already gets Shikami down to 5 HP, but not charged up enough to get the kill. Hyphenated in their back line. With the Mycelia Ooh, pocket. Shikami gets Mycelia, that's pretty big. With the Arisa assist. Now no healing for Hyphenated, he'll go down. And no res with this yep. type of spawn advantage. Already trying to get those shots. We'll get Shikami, though. Uncontested here. It is not shield. enough. The shield's up. There's no way for Barty to get these kills. All right, they should not try and contest here. So, so Barty is opting to play the if it's red, I click on it, no matter how soon. Style Widowmaker, and that is great for team fights because you're just getting your chip damage out and you're getting damage onto people. It's not like the ones that wait for only headshots. But we just saw the, the repercussions of that with uh, Kami living with five HP on that initial headshot. And we're going to see the Farah battle here from Shikami and Hyphenated. Oh, Monocro, no! Monocro goes down. Big snipe from Barty. Shikami going to knock him off the high ground, but it's, the damage has been done. Pretty far back. Scared in the back line here with the Reinhardt. Just laying in those hammers. And big last from all the way back. Hip blast going to get caught on the payload. So, my chemical throwmance 
see if they're gonna change anything up. They've got four alts on the line. Infrasight is over from Barty. Rocket Barrage and the Riptire. Well, it's both defensive alts. See Tommy trying to force Barty off of that sniper's perch. Oh, Barty gets two nice shots. Gets Shikami out. Barty cannot get the throw on the Monocro. Which is still fine. Shikami is able to get in. Long range Barrage takes out the shield, but is that going to no be kills. enough? And Hyphenated kills him in the Barrage through the Mercy. Jimbo oh, Link. Hyphenated looking for an angle here. He's going to find it, and actually the kill's coming I back the other way. I scared contest the card here. They can contest. MCT might need to back up here and wait for the team. They do have a spawn advantage here. Oh, Ooh, Scare's going for Monaco, mercy in the, in the red room. caught in the room. And Scare actually gets the and pin on the wrist off. off. That's big. Scare got the Earth Shatter charge. That is Ryan, Reinhardt, Reinhardt has away with the biggest shoulders <laughs> for the carry. <laughs> Huge play there out of Scare. Probably gets a stagger on Hit Flask. All right, so we're going to have some changes coming out. Gimbo onto the Winston. So it looks like they really want to get Barty off this hard ground. They are diving. They're diving. They're, they say they're having, they've had enough with Barty's Widowmaker. Barty is actually going to play all the way back here, so we can't be dive. That's a good play. Not enough range on that jump to get to him. Gimbo now going to push him back. 69 Party nice. looking for the kill. Gets Monocro. Nice headshot. Kimbo going in, looking for the mercy. Got kind of two fights here. Hyphenated on card. Everyone else back against Monkey. Kimbo actually went in by himself. Heart's not. Heart is moving. And the ult advantage is firmly with oh the uh, with the ducks. ducks. This is not a good situation. No this is not, has. but they do have two minutes there. There's no reason they have to go for the push right now. You can get some of these ultimates out of the defense. Right, do, it, do a um, full push here. Maybe draw two, three out, and then come back and uh, and your push to get it to the point. Now, vi victory may hinge on Monocro not using Valk here. Because this does need to be a dry push. They need to. Oh, Mark, oh. use the Valk. Gimbo pushes Mycelia off. Gimbo going deep, looking for Barty. Barty's just gonna run away. Monocro uh, goes for Monocro the Monocro gets the kill onto Barty with the Valkyrie. The, the but... very angry mob. Here we go, the Rez is gonna be up five on five now. Mycelia has- Rabbit may come out once the Steam Matrix is up. Probably looking for it. Grab and Earth Shatter, that's gonna be all, everything done. Should be the right call here. Done and dusted. But that's exactly what we said they needed to do. They get the grab out, they get the Earth Shatter out, they get the Valk out. So now this is looking more doable. Shikami does have the Dragon Blade and no defensive ult to stop it. Gonna be it depending on if he's gonna be able to find those targets. And he may struggle to find targets because look at how mobile the entirety of uh, exactly Ducks right. Is. He can slash Poply and scare, but they can swing back and survive that Dragon Blade. So, Gimbo, looking to get position. Here comes Shikami going in, looking for the Mercy, not gonna find it. Does get two questions though. That's pretty big. Is Monocro gonna be able to? Or is Mycelia gonna be able to res? Hopleo goes down. And Shikami looking for Barty. Gonna find him. Oh, Barty pops oh, the interest. Uh, wrist off on D to take out Ryan. So there we go. Point B is gonna be taken by my chemical throwman. But it took almost overtime. Only a minute and a half remaining. And Heart is just saying, yes, we are inside and I am on Junkrat. Is Barty going to stick onto this Widow? Not quite as advantageous on this point. It looks like he is going to stick on it. Ooh, nice headshot onto HDD there. Probably going to be Rez. And it will. I fumble the cover. There we go. Shikami goes down as well. And now an advantage. 
Kimbo are going to have to go away. The reset is called. Only one minute left. Oh, and oh, Hyphenated is just shredding them. The, he spent that entire fight just lingering right over their heads. Yeah, but look at these ults, though. My chemical throw is going to be very close to five ultimates. But They're still going to be working into a Shatter Graviton and a uh, mm -hmm. Barrage, so... I'm gonna line here too. Let's see if they can get Mycelia to start this fight. That would be huge. Gimbo going in on Barty. Barty doesn't have any way to get out, but it actually takes out Gimbo. Fire takes out Poplia though. Self destruct is used. Gimbo is gonna be res. Now, this is gonna be the last fight here. HDD. Laying in that down. Duck's gonna back away around the corner here. I made it actually goes in too deep. It's Burned down by Gimbo. Now Scare kind of caught out. Gets the Earth Shatter, but the grenade hits Reinhardt. And now my Chemical Throwman's looking to get aggressive here. Papio still has the ground. With Barrage. Papio gonna drop that Graviton. Just the damage there. Hyphenated gets two, gets get four. four. Wow. This may be it. That is probably gonna be it. Shikami gets the blade. Ooh. Gets one, gets two, gets three. But who's left? Is Kimbo. this enough? Oh no! Oh, she died. oh the hero blade from Shikami, but no one's touching the point. The payload stops just short of the objective. There we go, ducks eating greens know what they need to do to win the map right here, win the series, and go on to face GOAT C9s. Just have to move it all Not the way. Those last few meters, yeah, is, uh, it, it's going to feel rough, but that's, that's certainly a doable hold. As a wise man once said, it's just a quick play game now. Just have to move the payload all the way to the end, not even all the way. Ducks eating greens will win the series. Let's see it's if they can do it. What do you have to commit? All right, so on the defense, we're going to see the Satan comp, the Orisa of the Diva, Orisa. Junkrat Genji, and the Moira out of my, my chemical romance. Yeah, uh, pretty, pretty good comp for holding this choke point. The Orisa and the Junkrat lay out a lot of damage. Attackers. It's going to be difficult to move through that. Duxy and Green's showing their Rhine Zarya on the attack. Barty onto the Tracer. So no Widowmaker. Barty can get around into the back and really harass them and force them off this choke. Wait, my, my Chemical Throwman still isn't going to have an answer to Hyphenated on Farah. Um, well, here we go. Papio oh, switches down to the Diva, so that can actually disrupt that far a lot. But, but Papio is on the same team as. Oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> it can be pissed off in Shikami with the anti para as as much as that can be anyway. All right, so Hyphenator trying to knock them off, not gonna find the concussion. And you see him start to rotate here off the high ground as the cars approach and start going. Party flanking on the left. Can he get a healer pick in the back? Party and Poplio going Mind in control. together. So Ristoff is actually able to force them back. Now Scare holding that choke. Alright, so both teams are jockeying for position here. Oh, Shikami went in deep by himself and gets hammered down. Poplio gets the damage. Not going to be able to be resurrected. Absolutely not. Hopefully going in aggressively though, will be D max. Party is right on Monocro, they're playing Ring Around the Rosie. They do get Monocro. Oh, hard disk! Rift tire from hard disk. <laughs> and Mycelia goes down as well, so no mercy on either side. Party though. Oh, Revenge Trap from HDD. Now Scare, looking for the damage part. Has to protect from the Shiva Bomb and not able to save two questions. I finished though still uncontested, but Ristoff gets the nice rockets. Take him out. 
has that, that uh, spot advantage coming into play. Anko does get the res on the Shikami. Shikami looking to build that blade. With that. Yeah, downtown, and that is a great shield from spawn. Is he gonna go for the blade? Gets Mycelia. Here's gonna be. I think it gets two. The reflect from Shikami. Gonna stabilize here. Really big play there from Shikami. I am ready. Oh no! All the kills, but Hardy does take him out. So is might be an advantage here for the Ducks. I mean, if they go right now, they've got a huge advantage. Monty Pro makes it back, and Hard Disk is back. But the 5v6 right now. Shikami is almost back. Supercharger, Valkyries from both sides. Oh, oh yeah, huge shatter! No oh, damage, no, just damage. Damage on the floor. The now, res is denied it. and the Valkyries. And That's that, that Bongo in the corner is staying alive too. Bongo is down though. And now our, is Hyphenated able to get the kills here? Ristoff gets the max. Off and the fighting baby diva. With no support here. Mycelia does go down, but hit blast. Not... Monikro coming in and Hardest back. Here comes the Riptire, killed immediately oh, by Poplio. Poplio, no. high charge. Yeah, Poplio just taking out everyone. Shikami looking for another hero play. Coalescence though comes out. Oh! Ooh, the grab was used by Poplio. They might I want that one that back. That was a play. Put it back in my gun, please. <laughs> Poplio's right now hitting the escape key and rebinding it to not Q key. Alright. The point is captured. Three minutes. Get point B. And my chemical drone is setting up on this high ground. Jimbo is still on the Arisa. Let's see what ducks are going to try to do here. They can't just stay on this low ground until Romance decides to engage. Just get this and the closer point. they get, the less that Rhine Shield covers. Hyphenated. coming in. Chucking down that shield. So, you know, Shikami on the flank here. My typical Romance is holding the high ground advantage, but they have to drop down and contest. Self-destruct out of wrist stuff. Doesn't find anything. There's a bubble from Poplio. Right here right now. Kill on each side. Are they going to be able to res? Oh, Monocro gets killed. Now this Ooh, should be... Doing a nice yep. shot there. Contest still... went back before the DMAG. My chemical throne is still staying on the high ground. But there's only two members left. Yeah, right. right there, Gimbo dropped his shield to support the, the team down low that we're contesting, but that left him vulnerable to hype mid, so it forced him to jump down as well, and that was just a, a alligator pit that he jumped into. <laughs> My chemical throwing is still going to have one opportunity to defend here. Are they going to make it in time? Looks like Shikami's going to try. Jump off the blade. Half, half health. Can uh, half bond with the I see he does escape. Oh, but the Coalescence lays in the damage. Scare gets knocked up into the air. And Earthshed are going to be too late because of that. Barty on the Reaper is not going to be able to get the kills. And they are pushed back. Just over a minute remaining here. They were looking to capture that point with a time advantage. Uh, but look what they've got here. But now they have, be about the same. They've got five ultimates coming in. My chemical Thromance might okay. have the Rift Tire. Party on the Reaper. Have no defensive ult. Ristoff is going to have to come up with the Matrix on this Graviton. And they're flanking on the to the left side as far as defense is concerned. If this Graviton comes in, there's really going to be nothing they can do to stop it. Ristoff might eat it here. And Popio outplay Ristoff. There is oh. the Rev. Gets three, Gets three in it. Where are the kills? There's Hyphenade's Barrage. Self-destruct out of wrist off, but only gonna get the far. Long died to the the diva bomb. HD pulls out the rip tire. Does get one, but not gonna Just be enough. Now 30 seconds left. Oh, Monocro <laughs> trying to stall as long as possible on this Lucio. Will die. Now, oh, they're tr they're pushing in here. I don't know if that was a good play. Maybe they just wanted to reset, but they or didn't donate some ult charge. The, the cart does stop at this door, which gives him enough time to reset. So it's... Yeah, he's got a 10 seconds on a door stop, if uh, I remember right. So one and a half minutes left. 
And this is... Oh, Monaco goes down. Maybe got Maybe able to get aggressive, but Shikami with the blade. Mycelia able to get away. Shikami goes down. They're going in. Big slam out of Scare. And Scare goes off into space. <laughs> oh, but Party kills HTD but gets hit with the total mayhem. Now actually looking like... I don't know, Ducks eating good and full in force on the payload. Oh, uh, and not nice. getting any progress. Not getting these kills quickly enough. Here's swinging that hammer. Are they going to be able Here. to find Monocro? Almost has another shatter. Shikami, though, is still in the back. Probably looking for it. There's a lot of damage from those okay. uh, junk rat so, nades. This is really good from my chemical dromas. They're just eating up as much time as possible. And Shikami actually finds two. Payload is going to be moving, but there's going to be a disadvantage here. There's also going to be a, a Graviton uh, barrage coming in. Oh, my Celia just barely yeah, able yeah, to get the push of our balls coming here, Ducks, dude. Get the rip tire out of HGD. Is anyone going to find it? Oh, yeah, with a big fire strike, that's huge! Yimono on the dive. Nice. Got hyphenated, isolated. Can't get it's away. There's the grab. There's the hammer it swinging. Here come the kills, here comes the Dragon Blade, but Barty with the Death Blossom! That's gonna oh, be it! Pushing the cart. Ducks eating greens wow. really fast, and they get the win! The celebratory oh. hammer down from Scare. What a match. We went all the way to the fourth map. It was so close. Ducks eating greens will move on, and here we see the big Graviton. Just so many ultimates available for the ducks. Crazy match there, but both teams played so well. Seven and a half minutes of objective time. That is insane. Just running around the cart swinging his hammer. So, oh man, what a crazy back and forth match. We saw Dranomura. We saw everything. So that is our final match of the group stage here. So just to remind everyone, we've got our playoff picture now set in stone. Uh, dates and times still to be determined, uh, depending on when the teams are available. But we've got Van Hayes. The number one seed in Group A are going to be taking on The World is a Beautiful Place and I'm No Longer Afraid to Feed. And Ducks eating greens really fast. With the win today, they will move on to play against Goat C9s in the other semifinal. So we're going to figure out when those games are going to be played. And get back to you with the times for those. Anything you guys want to say about those matchups looking forward? Well, as a, uh, a substitute for Goat C9, they're clearly going to win. <laughs> 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 no, I, I'm, I'm really excited to see the, uh, the Ban Haste versus um, I'm No Longer Afraid to Feed uh, matchup because Ban Haste has been consistently very strong. And the feeders with their two new substitutions have also turned into an extremely strong team. So that is, I'm going to call it a slobber knocker just preemptively. Um, that that is going to be very back and forth. I don't think that's going to be a a uh, just a total stomp in one direction. Um, I'm looking forward to that one, and I'm looking forward to playing the other one. So. Yeah, honestly, yeah, you pretty much uh, knocked it out there for me. I was going to ask uh, if Jobo Fett was going to make it back for GOATS, but it sounds like you're going to be uh, filling for them here. Is that right? E either way, it's going to be exciting because Jabo is an extremely skilled Reinhardt. Either wondering. way, they're going to have some <laughs> kind of aggressive Reinhardt. <laughs> right, right, right. So I, I, I'm excited to see that one, uh, whether it's me or Jabo playing. So. Right. Just stuff. Did you have any or Aftil? Did, <laughs> sorry, did you have any thoughts? Well, I'm uh, I'm a little worn out from that one here. I didn't even uh, didn't even play. Um, I am 
I'm excited to to see Ducks uh, here. I think probably more than any other team, just because they just seem to have an interesting, uh, or, or not not maybe an interesting to to others, but for me, I love the Pharaoh play and I love the uh, the Zarya play. So I've been I've been enjoying watching that, and then Barty flexing around from Widow to Tracer to Reaper. That's really cool to watch too. Yeah, the, the flexibility that comes out of the Ducks is really amazing. My Chemical Thermants as well. They're 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 probably the two most flexible teams in my opinion, and uh, that made for this series, which was so back and forth because they're constantly able to react to each other's picks. Besides Hyphenated, who never got countered throughout the series, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was it was great. Fantastic series to end our group stage for sure. Hey, you got to save the best for last, right? Yeah. So that's going to be all from us today. Again, we're going to let you guys know when our next stream will be as soon as we can confirm with the teams. Uh, I got to thank, of course, commenters and AFTL on commentary. Uh, Merck, as always, with the camera and running the stream. Everyone doing a great job here today. And thank you to McFreeze for headlining this show for us. <laughs> oh, I just talked. I didn't do anything. All right, so that's going to be all from us today. Again, we will let you know when the next stream is, and we will see you again soon. Thank you for watching.